Oregon's governor and those leading the effort against the fight against the pandemic took time today focusing on the vaccination efforts. Now they announced a sobering number in doing so. More than 2,000 Oregon's killed in this pandemic. We surpassed that milestone. And that is loved ones, family members, friends taken away in just the past year. A year in which, for the first time, deaths outnumbered births. And along with that grim number comes positive signs. The Oregon Health Authority shows vaccinations to ramp up faster than the state previously projected. And this is due in part to an infusion of an additional 11,000 doses of the Moderna vaccine. Today, the OHA also announced that it's given out more than half a million doses of the vaccine. And with all of this, uh, OHA is warning of chaos in the days ahead because we've got that big group of seniors now trying to right. make appointments, 80 and older, starting on Monday. And chaos is a word that uh, that they used, that the Oregon Health Authority used, right, John? Yeah, that's a word that they did use today. The Oregon Health Authority saying today to expect some chaos next week. And they know that there will be some frustration. The state calling in members of the National Guard to help field questions at an overwhelmed 211 center. OHA saying it's going to take patience as vaccines roll out. To start with the good news, the Oregon Health Authority and Governor Kate Brown say the state will see an increase in COVID-19 vaccines starting next week. Earlier this week, I was on a call with the White House when they notified us that states will now be receiving a more than 20% increase in our allotment of vaccines. These new allocations and pharmacies also coming on board will speed up the timeline to get Phase 1A inmates, educators, and seniors vaccinated by a month. The state expects 1.25 million Oregonians will be eligible for a vaccine by March 1st. By early April, they expect to have vaccinated three quarters of those people, some 938,000. The state expects to have received 1.2 million first doses by April 4th. This graph shows the issues heading into the next few weeks, a surge in demand and not a big enough supply in vaccine doses. The state has been dealing with issues as people try to get an appointment with little to no success. I'm asking older Oregonians for patience in exchange for this promise. While it will take time, every senior who wants to get vaccinated will get a vaccine in coming weeks. On top of adding seniors to the list, next week Oregon will allocate 5,000 doses a week to vaccinate Oregon's 12,000 inmates incarcerated in state prisons. The state saying the allotment will happen over the next few weeks to satisfy a federal ruling that inmates must get vaccinated. It's going to be challenging over the next couple of weeks, particularly next week, because we have a lot of seniors in that over 80 and over category coming online and eligible for vaccinations. The Oregon Health Authority says that they are asking for patients, knowing the frustration and trying to get an appointment and what to do next. People can just be a little bit patient. I think the, this process will work better. We have been asking the Oregon Health Authority what seniors need to know about making appointments today. OHA Director Patrick Allen addressed it. He says the phone number 211 is being staffed by call takers and the National Guard, but it's overwhelmed. Next week, many older adults will inevitably voice frustration. Next week, you will not have to look hard to see people experiencing confusion. We will fall short. As much as we want to offer every older adult seamless access to a vaccine next week and over the rest of this month, the numbers don't lie. The gap between our eligible population and our allocated doses will be wide at first. With all the problems dealing with 211, how can you cut through all the busy signals and get answers? I'll take a look at some of the other options ahead at 530. Reporting in studio tonight, John Hendricks, Fox 12, Oregon.